Uh, my name is Jessica Perkins. I'm the uh, GIS and technical support uh, program manager for wildlife resources within West Virginia Division of Natural Resources. And uh, today I'm going to step you through a little bit of our uh, mapping uh, mapping website, the Hunting and Fishing Interactive Map. So uh, this is the Hunting and Fishing Interactive Map, and you can get to it by visiting the URL mapwv.gov slash huntfish. Uh, and uh, once you get to the home page, this is the home page, uh, you can step right into the maps by going to these links. But we also have some other great links that will take you into our hunting regulations, fishing regulations, licensing information, um, how to purchase a license, a hunting or fishing license online. Uh, but today we're going to talk about the actual map. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the hunting and trapping link. And so there's really two maps in one. There's the hunting and trapping map, and then there's also the fishing map. And if you happen to click on the hunting one and want to switch over to the fishing, you can come up here to the top and switch to fishing view. And we'll do that here in a little bit. I'll show you once we get zoomed in to an area. Um, you can zoom in using your mouse um, or you can go over to the top left over here and zoom in with a plus and minus. The home will zoom you back out if you're lost and you want to get back out to all of West Virginia. Uh, and then also, if you happen to be using this on a mobile device with a GPS, so this is mobile compatible, you can use it on an iPhone or an iPad or an Andrew, Android device. Um, you can actually find your location. Now, if I click on this now, it'll take me into uh, the Elkins area uh, because um, I'm just on a computer right now, but it wouldn't take me right to my office in Elkins. Uh, so you can use this on a mobile device, but of course we're looking at it on a computer today. Um, um, you would need to be in a connected environment to see all of this information um, on uh, an iPhone, for instance. Uh, so it wouldn't work where you didn't have cell service. But we have a workaround for that, which I'll show you where you can download some specific maps to use when you're out hunting or fishing. So um, easily you can zoom right in with your, uh, with your mouse or with the plus and minus. So we can just go right into an area if you're familiar with West Virginia and uh, click down on your mouse to zoom around to the different areas. Um, and I'm gonna zoom right into Stonewall Jackson Lake here. So um, new things pop up as you zoom in. And if you opened up in the top right, there's a lot of great tools that I think a lot of uh, people don't often look at. Uh, but here, if you click on legend, it'll pop out a legend and it'll tell you what all these different symbols are. So maybe you're familiar that the P would be parking, but we also have campgrounds, headquarters, et cetera. Um, and then if you, you, you may need to zoom down depending on your zoom level here to look at what the recreation land colors mean. So the kind of uh, orangey color is our wildlife management areas um, where public hunting is allowed and everything in this map is clickable. So if you click on this individual parking, it'll give you information about the parking area. And we'll come back to a, a point like that. Um, but if you click on a wildlife management area, you'll get a pop-up, a big pop-up in the bottom that will tell you information about that wildlife management area. So really a good way to, to use this and start to learn it is to just zoom in and click around and see what kind of information you can bring up. You'll notice on our wildlife management area pop-ups, there's some symbols that tell you what species you can hunt there, what uh, types of activities you can do, certain amenities. Uh, we also have highlighted where uh, this area map information. And this would be where you could download a map um, 
you could download uh, a PDF and use an app that uh, we use actually, our biologists even use called Avenza Maps. Um, you can load these maps uh, into Avenza Maps and then take them offline. So if I click on, let's see, on here, it will take me over to the Avenza Map Store where you can see the layout that you would wind up downloading. So here's the, <clears throat> here is the, um, the Stonewall, Stonewall Jackson Wildlife Management Area map. Okay. Um, we can also click on details to get more information within the hunting and fishing map. And uh, you'll notice there's a lot of information about hunting opportunities, fishing uh, on the wildlife management area, other amenities, contact information. Uh, and we can also click on access points that are within a wildlife management area. So let's say I wanted to go to the Stonewall Jackson Lake headquarters. If I click on the zoom to, it'll zoom to that point and it'll tell me, you know, how to, how, uh, where that is within the wildlife management area. And in this case, it's actually in the state park. Uh, so it gives a little, you know, it's a tiny box of information about that access area, but you could also, if you needed directions on how to get there, you could view it in Google Maps. And if you were looking at this on your phone or iPad, it would actually, and you had a, the Google Maps app on your phone, it would, it would open it within that app. But when you're on the computer, it opens Google Maps, get to that place that you clicked on, and now you can get directions. You can search nearby for things like restaurants or hotels or things that you may need if you're out and about. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and show you uh, some more of these tools in the top right. Um, first of all, this base map one is very uh, useful. You can click on it and you'll notice there are many different base maps that you can bring up underneath the information that comes from my office. Um, so a couple that are really useful, I think, for, hunt for hunters and anglers are the USA topography. Some hunters and anglers may be used to looking at these, uh, this type of map, the 1 to 24,000 USA topo style map. Um, so uh, that's a nice option and it gives you some more details on place names and things. Um, another one, I think the, the best imagery we have in most counties is this West Virginia Best Leaves Off. And this is hosted by the uh, West Virginia GIS Technical Center. Uh, my office actually works with the West Virginia GIS Technical Center. They host all this data for us and did the programming for us. We have a partnership with them. And then my staff works very hard to update the data. We put it out uh, twice a year, we put out new data, new information for the map. And if you happen to see any problems, you know, certainly contact us and, and let us know because we wanna, we wanna fix the, any issues that, that might come up. So here's a nice um, aerial imagery. Let me see, let's go down to the wildlife management area. And um, if you zoom in, you get a lot of detail um, in, of an area that maybe you wanna go check out. Okay, um, another, um, some other great options are in uh, this tools, uh, tools dropdown. You can actually go in and print a map. You can print it to a PDF and you can load it into Avenza Maps. You can also just print it like, uh, you know, old school on a printer and take it with you. So that's a nice option. Um, you can share, uh, share maps by sending a URL, a, um, a, a web address to a friend, um, you just simply zoom to an area you wanna go to, you can generate a link 
then copy this link into an email or into a text. And you can send this to a friend and say, hey, check out this great field I found in Stonewall Jackson Wildlife Management Area. Okay, you can also generate bookmarks within your web browser. So you have to be in the same web browser um, and you need to have cookies being saved. Um, but you can add a bookmark and, and uh, if you always want to come back to this area, you can, you can save it into the web browser that, that you're looking um, at the, the, the mapping tool in. Let me go ahead and minimize some of these. Uh, another great feature is you can measure areas. So let's say you wanted to know how big this field was. You can go to this area. There's also length. So if you need to see how far, uh, far a, a distance, how many miles away something is, you could use that. You can also get coordinates with this tool. But I'm going to show you the area tool. So if I click on that and I draw, just clicking with your mouse, it's a little easier on a computer, but it is possible to do it on an iPad just using your finger. Uh, and then double click at the end. And now we know that this field is 2.6 acres. So that's a nice option. And then this text markup, if you really wanted to get fancy, you can write information on your map and then print it. Um, so that's what that text markup is for. Okay, to clear everything, if you're done and you don't want this polygon, this you know weird shape on here anymore, you can hit clear. Or if you reload the map, it'll also go away. Okay, one thing I hadn't showed you is um, how to search. So there's a lot of information you can search for, and a lot of ways you can search. You can just do a keyword search, put in some information like Walmart, and it'll bring up a bunch of different, uh, well, let's go ahead and do that. A bunch of different hunting license agents that are located that you can you know, go and buy your hunting or fishing license at. Hit reset to try a different kind of search. Um, you can search by location. So let's say we wanted to, we were staying at a state park and we wanted to find some uh, fishing or hunting locations around that state park. We could click on that and I'm going to go down to Stonewall again since we've, we're in that area. Stonewall Resort State Park. And we can hit apply. And it'll actually do a 10 mile radius search around that location, in this case, Stonewall Resort State Park, and find all the public hunting lands. So there's three around Stonewall State Park. Um, and then, you know, all the other information that we have uh, hosted to will bring up. Um, there's 40 public access points, for instance. Now, if I clicked on each one of these, it would go back, it would go into, it would zoom to them, just like that. Okay, Hit reset. And there's also search functionality if you wanted to search for certain game species. So you could click on a game species you're interested in and it would bring up information on what wildlife management areas you could hunt those species at. And, as, and also with uh, land amenities, let's say you wanted to visit a wildlife management area um, that had picnic facilities that, that you could search for that, that had um, camping nearby, you could search for that. Okay. So I am going to, um, let me zoom back out to, um, let's see, public hunting land. Let's do, let's go out to Stonewall Jackson real quick. Let's see. Okay, so we're zoomed out to the general area of Stonewall Jackson. 
And uh, I'm going to switch over to the fishing view real quick here. And you'll notice that some new data, some new information pops in. And this is the, this is the fishing uh, view. So um, I can open up that legend again and look at what all these mean. So the, the little uh, fish with the hook here is the fishing and boating access sites, places you can uh, potentially put a boat in or just go fishing at. Then everything in here is clickable as well. So if you click on one of these, you can find out information about the, the fishing and boating access site. So there it is. And the, these have deep, great detail as well. Okay, you'll notice as I zoom in here, more things turn on, more detail, more information. And um, you'll notice that Stone Cold Lake, ha Stone Cold Lake has a lot more um, color to it. And uh, this is something I wanted to highlight. Uh, some of my staff have worked very hard on this. It's been a great collaborative uh, project to collect depth data um, in many of our lakes. Uh, so we have not done Stonewall Jackson Lake yet. We're, we're going to hit some of the bigger lakes next, but we have done a few of the big lakes. We've done over 50 uh, lakes statewide, so a lot of them are a lot smaller than even Stone Cold Lake. Uh, but they've gone around in boats and collected data with sonar devices and then come back and processed that depth information to create a lake depth map or what's known as a bathymetry map. So as you zoom in, you get more information about the depth. And you'll notice we have some fish habitat points as well on Stone Coal Lake. And just like the wildlife management areas, if there is uh, depth data, for the lake, if it's colorful like this, you can also get um, a, a PDF map or a JPEG map and print it, or you can um, get information, you can download a map from, from the Avenza map store and it's free um, to get this as a layout. So you can take it in, in the field with you to a place that does not have cell phone service. So that's a nice option. Well, thanks for uh, joining me in this tour of our hunting and fishing map. I hope you take a look at it and maybe explore some of the tools that you haven't used before. I um, wanted to mention that this has been a great collaborative effort between the West Virginia GIS Tech Center and my staff here who work very hard to uh, update data. So certainly let us know. Um, if you find any information that's a little bit off. Um, so uh, thanks again and um, let us know if you have any questions.